But let's talk about footwork the Spanish way. What about on the rise and on the fall? What do you guys think? When you have a young junior, how should you teach them first? Should you teach them to take the ball early and on the rise? Or should you teach that player to move back and let the ball drop? So I've gone through some iterations of this over the years. When I was a younger coach, I trained with a big mentor of mine, Gilad Bloom, very brilliant Israeli coach. Any of you guys who follow me know that um, I have a lot of respect for Gilad. And Gilad Bloom always used to teach his young prodigies, and he had a lot of young prodigies. He would teach them to take the ball early on the rise and he felt that was the best way to start a kid so every young kid you know seven eight nine ten years old they would be taking the ball right up off the baseline super early you know aggressive uh court position taking the ball between the ankles and the knees in terms of height and really attacking the ball with the feet taking the ball super early and at that time, I just taught the way that Gilad taught. I was injured. I, I was training for the pro circuit and I got injured. So I ended up, during the time that I was injured, I would just kind of hit for Gilad and, and sit and watch all his lessons. And the guy was, the guy was a genius. The guy had an amazing coach. And I, had so much, I still have so much respect for him. And I was just trying to learn how to coach the way he, he did. Back in the day, I was a young guy in my 20s, right? So he that's how I taught. So I just taught the way Gilad taught because he was, he was to me, the best coach I've ever been around. And um, I felt that, that that's probably going to serve my students well. As I started traveling a lot in Spain and in Europe, I found another way, a different way to coach young kids, and that is moving back and letting the ball hit the apex of the bounce and then falling into the strike zone. And I, over the years, I've come to a place where I think that that's probably the best way to start kids out. So I'm uh, moving away from my initial mentor, the way Gilad used to do it. Uh, he may probably still does it this way. And I, I try to teach a little more the Spanish way to young kids, yet at the same time, at some point in their junior development, I'm going to give them some on the rise skills, uh, especially so they can deal with moon balls and high, uh, high topspin balls, things like that. So it's, um, I try to find a middle ground, but I really think this, the way the Spanish do it is, uh, I think the, the best way for, for young children to learn because it's simple and it makes sense tactically and it teaches them to utilize the entire the entire space of the court rather than just uh, hugging the baseline and making the court very small as players become more advanced it helps to shrink the court shrinking the court is a skill uh, a tactical skill and maybe that's a technical skill as well in terms of the footwork you need to do that but it's it's a a real benefit and uh, to me it's like a higher level skill or tactic rather than something that you would teach right away to uh, an introductory player who's still trying to learn their mechanics and that's the other thing i think it's a lot easier to learn good correct biomechanics and technique if you are taking giving yourself more time and moving back in the court letting the ball bounce letting it come up hitting at the top at the apex or hitting it slightly uh as it's coming down from the apex. To me, that's, it's much easier to learn good technique and mechanics that way, easier for me to teach it. I've noted just over the years, I've just, you know, in the trenches, seeing that kids can learn more easily that way. If you try to teach them concurrently on the rise and um, uh, new technical skills, like new, new strokes and things like that, and different technical things, it's really, really hard for them to uh, learn both at the same time. In addition, I, I really emphasize topspin, you know, coming from a Spanish background, I really believe in developing topspin, not just technically, because technically if a player can produce good topspin, like, like a head over heels topspin, like a bicycle tire, you know they're doing some good stuff with their swing path and with the mechanics of their swing. 
So for me, it's really important technically, but also, of course, tactically, you you top them to attack your opponents. It's a very good play. It's a, a classic play in Spain where players will use their typically the forehand with a lot of topspin to attack someone up high, so a high ball attack. For those two reasons, I think when you take the ball on the rise, especially young kids, when they try to learn it, they actually re usually reduce their tops and they reduce the RPM that they're able to generate. So for all those reasons, I like to teach the more the Spanish positioning, uh, the more Spanish t letting the ball fall, hitting the ball at the top of the bounds and moving back in the court.